Hey everyone, Emily at Bob's Watches. Today we're talking all about men's Rolex watches and going over some of the most popular options currently available. Also, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date on all of our latest videos. When it comes to men's watches, Rolex's catalog is in no way short on options. Although the brand has a long and storied history of producing watches specifically for women, the men's side of Rolex's catalog is significantly more vast than the women's, and many Rolex collections are only available in a single size, one that has historically been categorized as a men's watch. Rolex categorizes its collection into two main categories, classic and professional, and you will find men's watches in both. The classic side of the collection includes all of Rolex's traditional watches and dress models, while the professional side is home to all of the brand's various purpose-built sport and tool watches. Generally speaking, men's Rolex watches typically have case sizes that range between 34 millimeters and 44 millimeters, but personal preference is always going to be the number one most important factor when choosing a Rolex. The Oyster Perpetual Collection is the least expensive Rolex watch available, and it represents the point of entry into the brand's various offerings. Although the Rolex Oyster Perpetual is available in a number of sizes, ranging from 28mm to 41mm, it is the 34mm, 36mm, and 41mm models that are considered men's watches. With that in mind, 34mm and 36mm are both incredibly versatile sizes, and due to the wide range of dial colors available for the Oyster Perpetual collection, these watches can effortlessly be worn by both men and women. Also within the classic side of the catalog is the Datejust, which many collectors consider to be the quintessential Rolex watch. Historically, 36 millimeters was the classic size of Rolex's men's watches, and since its introduction in 1945, there has always been a 36 millimeter Datejust. Starting in 2009, Rolex began offering a larger 41 millimeter version of the Datejust to be offered alongside the standard 36 millimeter model. Today, there are men's Datejust watches available in both 36 millimeter and 41 millimeter sizes. However, Rolex also offers both unisex and lady Datejust watches for those seeking a smaller case. Additionally, it is also worth noting that Rolex also produced the Date, which offers much of the same styling and functionality as the Datejust, but with a slightly smaller 34 millimeter case diameter. Similar in style to the Datejust, the Rolex Date 8 takes things up a notch with a solid precious metal construction and an additional day complication. Just like the Datejust, 36 millimeters is the classic size for the Date 8. However, in 2008, Rolex released a larger 41 millimeter version in the form of the Date 8 II. The Date 8 II has since been replaced by the Date 8 40, which features a 40 millimeter case. However, both 36 millimeter and 40 millimeter versions of the Date 8 are considered to be men's Rolex models. With that in mind, Rolex now offers versions of the Date 8 36 that embraces a more feminine aesthetic for female buyers who wish to own the iconic Rolex president. First launched in 2012, the Skydweller holds the distinction of being Rolex's most complex watch. Only available with a 42mm case, the Rolex Skydweller is one of the larger Rolex models currently available and it is classified as a man's watch within Rolex's catalog. Additionally, due to its advanced movement that packs both an annual calendar and a dual time display, the case of the Skydweller is quite a bit thicker than the Date Day or Datejust and offers noticeably more wrist presence. The Rolex Cellini is Rolex's dedicated collection of dress watches, crafted exclusively from precious metals and featuring elegant and refined design. In the past, Cellini models were available in a wide range of sizes. However, at the present time, all Rolex Cellini watches feature 39mm cases and are crafted from either 18 karat white or Everose gold. Although the current production Cellini models are technically considered men's watches, their versatile sizing allows them to be worn gracefully on both male and female wrists. Generally speaking, the models that make up Rolex's professional series are larger than the watches from the classic line, since they often include additional features or complications that pertain to their specific sport or intended use. And possibly the most famous men's Rolex watch of all time is the Submariner. First launched in 1953, the Submariner is Rolex's flagship collection of dive watches and an absolute icon within the industry. As of 2020, all Rolex Submariner models have case diameters of 41 millimeters. However, previously the Submariner was a 40 millimeter watch and during the 1950s, Submariner watches were produced with 37 millimeter and 38 millimeter cases. With that in mind, the Rolex Submariner has always been a man's watch and there have never been any reduced size versions of the watch. The Rolex Sea Dweller collection expands upon the capabilities of the Submariner, offering an even greater depth rating and a helium escape valve for use during saturation diving. Just like the Submariner, the case of the Sea Dweller has grown over the years. However, it has always been classified as a man's watch. 
Originally, the Sea Dweller had a case diameter of 40 millimeters, but in 2017, Rolex increased its size to 43 millimeters. Within the Sea Dweller collection is the Rolex Deep Sea, which is the brand's most capable dive watch with a 3,900 meter depth rating. Tied for the title of the largest Rolex watch currently available, the Deep Sea has an official case diameter of 44 millimeters, a requirement for its ability to withstand the crushing pressure found deep below the surface of the ocean. Another incredibly famous men's Rolex watch is the Daytona. Officially launched in 1963, the Rolex Daytona is the brand's chronograph model inspired by the world of automotive racing. Today, all Rolex Daytona watches have cases that measure 40 millimeters in diameter. And while vintage Daytona models from the first generation of manually wound references feature sub 40 millimeter cases, the Daytona has always been grouped into the men's section of Rolex watches. With that in mind, the 40 millimeter case size and ultra desirable nature of the Rolex Daytona has made it a popular choice for collectors. And you can now spot this Rolex classic on both men and women's wrists. Similar to the Daytona, the GMT Master II is another Rolex professional watch with a 40 millimeter case diameter. First launched in 1955, the Rolex GMT Master Collection was originally designed for pilots and airline crews so that they could simultaneously track multiple time zones on long haul flights. Although the very first Rolex GMT watch had a case diameter of 38 millimeters, every subsequent model, including all GMT Master II watches, feature 40 millimeter cases fitted with bi-directional rotating bezels. Like the Rolex Daytona, the GMT Master II has historically been grouped with the men's models, but due to its popularity and iconic status, Rolex GMT watches are now worn by both men and women alike. First introduced in 1953, the Rolex Explorer was the brand's very first sports watch and laid the groundwork for the range of specialized sport and tool watches that followed. Like most of Rolex's other watches, the Explorer has grown in size over the years. The original model had a 36 millimeter case diameter, but in 2010, Rolex increased the size of the classic Explorer to 39 millimeters. Still grouped with the rest of the men's models in the Rolex catalog, the Explorer is another watch with a highly versatile case size that works perfectly on a wide range of different wrists. Additionally, in 1971, Rolex added the Explorer II to be offered alongside the standard time-only Explorer model. Larger in size than the classic Explorer and offering an additional 24-hour hand on the dial, the first Explorer II had a case diameter of 39 millimeters, but this was increased to 40 millimeters with the second edition of the watch. In 2011, Rolex updated the size of the Explorer II again, giving it a larger 42 millimeter case diameter. Still in production today, the 42 millimeter Rolex Explorer II is one of the larger Rolex watches currently available, tied with the Skydriller for the third largest Rolex model currently in production. First introduced in 1956, the Rolex Milgauss is an anti-magnetic watch developed specifically for scientists and medical professionals, rather than for a specific sport or lifestyle activity. Like other Rolex models, the case size of the Milgauss has grown over the years, from 38 millimeters to the 40 millimeters where it remains to this day. Similar to other purpose-built Rolex tool watches, the Milgauss has only ever been offered in a single case size at a time, one that would traditionally fall into the men's watch category, and there have never been a reduced size or lady Milgauss model. First launched in 1958, the Rolex Air King is one of the older names in the brand's catalog. However, for most of its life, the Air King was a 34 millimeter watch. Although it went through numerous updates and revisions, it was not until 2016 that the Air King saw an increase in case size. Now measuring 40 millimeters in diameter, ensuring both a case and movement with the Milgauss, the current Air King firmly falls into the size range for Rolex's men's watches, but it is not so large that it cannot also be worn by women too. Introduced in 1992, the Rolex Yachtmaster Collection is the brand's luxury-oriented line of sports watches. Similar in its general design to the Rolex Submariner, the Yachtmaster trades some of the Submariner's water resistance for the use of precious metals and additional options. Interestingly, the Yachtmaster Collection is the only Rolex sports watch available in multiple different sizes. Today, the Rolex Yachtmaster is available in 37mm, 40mm, and 42mm case sizes, with the 40mm and 42mm models officially listed as men's watches in Rolex's current catalog. Just like Rolex's Explorer collection, the brand also offers the Yachtmaster II as a more advanced version of the classic Yachtmaster watch, and is offered alongside it in the brand's catalog. While the standard Yachtmaster is simply a luxury-oriented sports watch, the Yachtmaster II is a purpose-built regatta watch, specifically designed with a mechanical countdown timer for use during professional boat races. With a case diameter of 44 millimeters, the Yachtmaster II is tied with the Deep Sea for the largest Rolex watch currently available. And just like the Deep Sea, it is only offered in a single size, 
due to the fact that its case size is necessary for its advanced functionality. Regardless of whether you opt for a humble 34mm Oyster Perpetual or a 44mm Rolex Deep Sea, all Rolex watches are crafted to the same impossibly high standards and represent some of the finest timepieces that money can buy. For more information on men's Rolex watches, be sure to check out our ultimate Rolex watches buying guide, and you can find the link for that in the description below. Thanks for watching our video on men's Rolex watches. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.